Hola, Truth Consciousness Seeds, from Cascada Café Retiro in Popayan, Colombia. Black or white, the sheep must eventually face the squall of death and choose between the end of his ego or that of his body. Dying to his ego implies that he must abandon all types of sheep behavior, including and especially the fear of external authorities. Do or die. The moment has come to make a general and irrevocable decision. He must turn away from external authorities and face his own internal authority, his soul. After a stop plus 180 degrees, he makes a transfer of power from ego to soul. The sovereign mayor gradually unites body and soul, both of which interpenetrate through concrete action. The body yearns for the soul's high vibrations and the soul aspires to transform the body's lower vibrations. Each time a fear shows up or an egotistic personality argues, the body surrenders to the soul once more and modifies its behavior. This takes time and a lot of time and a lot of pep. Patience endurance, perseverance. Each new fear that is healed slows aging and improves health. The stronger the body, soul, union becomes, the more faith grows and the weaker doubt becomes. When the unification process is finished, there is no longer any separation between body and soul. Fear disappears. No more fear, no more ego. The way is free to the next step. This is where most of the spiritual disciplines stop. Sri Aurobindo, the mother, Satprem, and now in the 21st century, Ghi, shows us the next step. The reversal of consciousness. A total internal reversal takes place. Like a glove that is turned inside out, the person no longer feels like a body carrying a soul, but a, like a soul wearing a body. The individual stops living according to the outside world. The experience is as intense as a chick inside its egg, breaking the shell and climbing out into the world, except that his climb is internal. While going along this evolutionary path, three tests are each followed by a victory. The most difficult test is the transition period, the tumultuous unification between the decision to transform and the reversal of consciousness. My body is filled with unconscious, fearful personalities who stop me from expressing my true identity. It is like wearing a dress covered with greasy stains. To clean it all up represents a huge job. I start my conscious evolution by removing the smallest one first. Mental fears are smaller, more on the surface, and need less scrubbing. They manifest as thoughts. To erase them, I empty my mind. Perseverance and vigilance allow me to easily establish internal silence for increasingly longer periods of time. I continue my cleanup by scrubbing vital emotion stains which are much bigger and persistent and take the form of desires. When a desire is gratified, it automatically brings about a vital expansion. When it is not fulfilled, it produces a contraction. To get rid of desires, I stop satisfying them and remain neutral every time my ego cons me into doing so. Neutrality is what allows desires to fade away. Their gradual dissolution allows me to discover the real needs of my physical body and stop being the slave of vital desires. When the mental and vital cleanups are well advanced, I start scrubbing the thought stains, those of the, the toughest stains, those of the physical body. This last one screams that it has natural needs that cannot be sublimated. However, my newly clean mental body knows that animal needs are merely very ancient habits. Under my soul's guidance, my mental and vital bodies now form a stronger partnership. They calm my trembling cells and bring physical immobility. Unfortunately, 
This long-term job usually takes so long that death happens before I have been able to complete this huge cleanup. Solution. Do not try to wash off one by one the stains on the robe. Change it all together. Trying to get rid of all my egotistic personalities one at a time will take so long that I will die of fear and exhaustion before the end of the process. For the triple body to undergo a full transformation, my whole consciousness must change radically and integrally. Crossing the wall of death. I have a final choice to make between one, giving full control of my body to my ego and the perpetuation of the species, and two, offering my body to my soul to prepare its metamorphosis into a new species. These are two diametrically opposite directions. I cannot choose both at, any, at the same time. At each moment of my life, I must decide between remaining a human being and becoming an idesic being between both species like the obstacle to transformation, the wall of death. Personocratia has to decide to go through this wall. The wall is made up of all the fears that constitute my death program. Each brick represents a hidden fear and manifests into my life as an egotistic personality. One single fear hides beneath all others, the fear of death, which determines human conduct at all times. I am born in fear, I behave as a fearful sheep all my life, and finally die of fear. Every time I am afraid, my body smashes into this wall of death. Personocratia decides to break the wall and take away as many bricks as needed as fast as possible to go through the wall. As she stops behaving like a sheep, she discovers the mare on the other side. To succeed in her monumental mission, Personocratia needs to take a general decision that will turn her towards this new and exclusive direction. She stops behaving in accordance with her old egotistic world of death, makes a 180 degree turn in the direction of her soul and says, my life now belongs to you. The, this capital decision is then followed by numerous specific decisions. Every minute of my life, everything I think, say or do now needs to be in line with my soul's aspiration. Each decision taken in the hope of dislodging a specific brick to dissolve a personality and its corresponding fear brings me closer to the critical moment when the wall of death will collapse for good and bring me the final reversal of consciousness. There is no doubt in my mind the long-awaited paradise on earth will finally exist for real. Join me in this amazing and yet very lonely journey. I never even thought to dream of living with the healing sounds of a waterfall for the rest of my life. I trust I will be sharing this energy and infinite love with you soon. Evolution of Truth Consciousness Workshop at Cascada Cafe de Tiro in Popayan, Colombia, February 3rd to 7, 2020 in English and March 2 to 6, 2020 in Spanish. Infinite love.